So as you can probably tell, Ruby is not a fan of horse spray or fly spray. She, uh, and to be fair, I actually don't. Um, I totally understand it because I don't think I would actually like someone just spraying something from a bottle at me. Um, but we like to get them used to it because at some point in their lives, they're going to actually have to, or someone is going to spray them with a bottle full of pesticide. So here I am trying to sort of get her used to that. She's moving away, as you can see, but um, but she's not too bothered. Um, and I just keep spraying here. So as long as she's moving, I'm going to keep spraying. And then she stops, I'm just going to take it away. Good girl, Ruby. So we're going to do it again. This time from the other way. And here we go from the other side. Well, she is more sensitive on this side. So I expected a bigger reaction. And I actually, it, it was better than I expected, to be honest. So, so that was good. Oh, no, she says, no, you still got that damn bottle in your hand. I am not letting you pet me with that in your hand. Oh, no, no. This is where I am uh, now putting fly spray on her face to uh, stop the flies getting around her face. Well, hopefully, but frankly, this fly spray is not the best and it doesn't actually work that well. So, but we try. And she's pretty comfortable with that after a while, after the initial shock. So, so she's doing really well. Good girl. So to be honest, my main reason for uh, coming here with the round pen with Ruby today was actually to uh, try her with a bareback pad to see how she reacted to it. Now we have done this before, but it was a while ago. So we're going to try again and see um, and see how she does. I'm not actually. Pro I'm probably not going to attempt to put it on, but I am definitely going to uh, make sure she sees it and will be rubbing it on her just to get a gauge her reaction more than anything else. So she does have. Um, Poor Ruby, it does have like a skin issue. It's like sort of itchy, almost like eczema would be in, 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 a, in a human. So we've been working with that, with her trying to sort of get rid of, well, to make her more comfortable, to be honest. We can't seem to get rid of it, despite the fact that the vet has come out and we're sort of at a loss. But um. So we just do what we can and uh, and just try not to, uh... oh, there we go. Sorry, I'm just picking her feet up here. I am not... want to do her front feet just for, before we, uh... just in case there are any rocks in there or anything. So that is what I am doing. And so now I am just scratching her. Got the bareback pad. I'm just trying it on her. Just to rub it against her, as you can see, she's not that happy with it. I'm stepping back. If she reacts, I'm stepping back. Bless her heart, she turns to face me. And I'm just going to wait here. Just for a little while. She's looking around. The flies are still bugging her, I think. And I'm just going to move around her and have her move with me. 
but I'm not going to directly approach her, for, certainly not from the front anyway. I think she's thinking, oh God, she'll get me out of here. But then she always comes back, it's quite funny really, she is a good girl. I'll just put my hand out to her here to, to um, and I'm, if you notice I'm actually doing it in like a fist as opposed to an open hand. And the reason for that is because a, a, an open hand can look like more like claw-like. So that's why I do it in that fist. She's not bothered by it anyway. So um, so I'm just going to approach her. And she is pretty comfortable with me there with the pad. In my hand, not quite so comfortable when I actually... Go to stroke her with it. But we will continue. Onwards and upwards. And she's pretty comfortable here, to be honest. She's such a good girl. She always has to be very close to you. She can't be wherever you are. A human, any human, to be honest, she's like right up close to you, which I sort of like. But I understand it can also be a bit intimidating for for other people. We're still battling the fly spray as well. The flies, sorry, they, they're just some of these fly sprays. They just get resistant to them after a while, and then I'm just walking away with the pad, see what she does, and of course she's following, because that's what Ruby does. She says, she's getting she's saying, okay, what can we, uh, what are we going to do now? Because I'm bored. I'm just standing with her. Seems tedious, but it's actually a nice thing to do because they. Uh, I'm not really doing much with her. I'm not putting any pressure on her per se. She's choosing to be with me, and that works fine for me. So, I'm gonna try that bare back again. I'm gonna walk backwards, and she's making the decision to stay there. And that's okay. And round and round and round we go. Now she's following again. I don't really want to put too much pressure on these horses, any of them. I like it to be their choice that they come with me. I don't like to force them. It's hard to force them, to be honest, because they're so big, but... I don't like to use coercion if I can help it. You know, obviously sometimes you have to, if it gets dangerous, then you have to be a little more assertive. But at this stage with Ruby, she's she gets close, and that's fine by me. I don't really care. So that is pretty much it. We are done for the day. We've actually been out here for about nearly an hour or so um, before I started filming. So I think that's more than enough for her. Just testing her out, see if she'll turn around to face me if I walk behind her, which she did. In fact, she got very close to me. The tail swishing is really for the flies. There's no for anyone who's watching and thinking that she's uh, angry or whatever. That has absolutely nothing to do with... She's not angry or not irritated. Well, she's irritated with the flies, but she's not irritated per se, it's you just using that tail to sweep the flies away. 
which is actually quite effective. Sometimes I wish I could have a, have a tail like that, and then I could swish my flies away. <laughs> actually, mosquitoes would be the thing I want to swish away, but... Um, oh, and this is just tedious. We're actually looking at the apples. I'm showing you the apples on the tree. I mean, really. Um, 